Now we already know that text wraps automatically to the next line when we type in a word. And this happens when the text approaches the right margin. Okay, in other words, when I'm typing down here and I've got a line of text, it goes over to the next line. Now, sometimes this can cause an unnecessary space and we can see here what's happening with quality. So we want to look at some hyphenation options or where we can actually go and customize this. So when I go up to the layout tab and I go to hyphenation, you can see I've got three default options. I can say none and you can see what happened there. I can say that I want automatic hyphenation or I can say that I want manual hyphenation. I can actually go down to hyphenation options. You can see here that I've got a default tick in automatically hyphenate the document and automatically hyphenate words in caps. So that it will do by default. In other words, Word itself will do this. Now underneath that, I've got the hyphenation zone. And at the moment I've got 0,63 centimeters. This is the maximum space that Word will allow between the right margin and a word before it gets hyphenated. So again, we can go and adjust that. And if I click OK, it will make a few changes here, All right? So I can go and um, customize that hyphenation zone. Then underneath that, I've got limit consecutive hyphens too. And at the moment, I've got no limit. I can go and choose what I want there. But this is the maximum number of consecutive lines over which a hyphenation may occur. Right. So this is why it's important just to understand what we are actually dealing with. So let's go and do a practical example. In this case now, they want us to change the hyphenation options in the document to limit the number of consecutive hyphens to one. So hyphenation, hyphenation options, limit consecutive hyphens to one. They also want me to set the hyphenation zone at 0 0.8 centimeters. I've done that and format the text that is in two columns so that it's formatted into three columns. So let me just do that. And then let me select all my text over here that's in two columns. And I want to change that to three columns with 0 0.5 centimeters uh, between the columns. So remember for that, I'm going to have to go to more columns and the space in 0 0.5 centimeters between the columns. And there we go. All done.